Let's take to the air with the Sikorsky S-64 Sky Crane, an American helicopter ready to transport up to 20,000 pounds of cargo. The six-bladed giant first went up in the air in 1962, but various modifications are still in operation today, for example in Italy and South Korea. Let's take a look at the characteristics of the S-64E version. The helicopter has a three-person crew, and if necessary, an operator can be called in to work with more complex cargo. Cruising speed is 105 miles per hour, and maximum speed is 125 and a half. Flying range is about 200 miles. The helicopter is powered by two Pratt & Whitney T-73 P1 engines, with a combined output of 9,000 horsepower. From extinguishing forest fires to working on the 1,808-foot CN Tower, there's not much these helicopters have not done. Let's hope the S-64 Sky Crane crews continue to successfully carry out their missions. This is another transport helicopter, again from the US. The Command K-Max looks a bit like a slimmed-down S-64 Sky Crane, but the two intermeshing rotors caught our eye right away. This design is called the Syncropter, and is a standard command feature. This solution, according to the engineers, is perfect for working with loads. In particular, it results in reduced noise and vibration levels, optimum power consumption, and lower maintenance costs. The characteristics of the vehicle are as follows. Load capacity is about 6,000 pounds. The maximum speed is 115 miles per hour. The range is 307 miles, and the engine power is 1,350 horsepower. In addition to the two propellers, the helicopter is also interesting for a number of other features. It is designed for only one person. There's not even room for a co-pilot. The fuselage is very narrow, so the pilot gets an excellent view. In addition, the helicopter has no tail rotor, as the engineers are sure that this makes it safer. This is the Bell V280 Valor Tilt Rotor aircraft, officially unveiled back in 2013. It's being used for the US Army. In the future, it's supposed to replace the Boeing AH-64 Apache and the Sikorsky UH-60 Blackhawk. The first time the helicopter took to the skies was on December the 18th, 2017. At the moment, the following characteristics of the Bell V280 Valor are known. Operational range is 2,423 miles, cruising speed is 322 miles per hour, and capacity is 12 passengers plus crew. A great advantage of this aircraft is the ability to land and take off using unprepared sights, as well as hovering in the air. The PDAS system is also worth mentioning. It'll provide the crew with a 360-degree view in real time. In addition, this helicopter can be reconfigured for different tasks, from assault operations to humanitarian missions. There are also interesting projects being developed in France. The French-German Airbus Helicopters team is working on the H160M Guepard project. They plan to mass-produce the vehicle from the mid-2020s and will be used by the French Armed Forces. As a starting point, engineers chose the civilian utility helicopter, the H160. The upgrade doesn't imply any fundamental changes in terms of design or architecture, but the H160M Guepard will receive improved radio and electronic components, as well as a compartment optimized for military tasks. According to NavalNews.com, the characteristics of the helicopter in 2021 looked as follows. 435 mile range, a 162 mile per hour top speed, and a capacity of two crew members plus five armed soldiers. It is also known that the vehicle vehicles will be equipped with the Thales Flytex avionics suite. Its functions can be easily modified without costly verification, thanks to the Thales IMA technology. As for weapons, MBDA ANL anti-ship missiles and cannons are expected. There are also more peaceful machines taking to the skies. 
such as the Japanese Yamaha Phaser unmanned helicopter. Thanks to its versatile platform, it can be used for a variety of tasks, from agriculture to science, land control, reagent spraying, experiments, cargo delivery, volcano inspections. It can do it all. The helicopter is capable of accelerating up to 25 miles per hour and carrying about 66 pounds of cargo. Time in the air varies depending on the weather, load, and model. The Phaser R version will provide about an hour and a half of flight. The engine, interestingly enough, runs on gasoline, and there are two-stroke and four-stroke versions. To operate the helicopter, you'll need to get a special certificate or hire a trained person. But the company says that if the user could master a toy helicopter, they will easily cope with the Yamaha Phaser as well. In addition, the drone has a lot of auxiliary and backup systems. The following product is a creation of the Canadian company Mosquito Helicopters. The Mosquito Aviation XE is interesting if only because it was produced as both a ready-made and as a DIY kit. It is a single-seat compact model that weighs a modest 298 pounds and speeds up to 81 miles per hour. Each new version had changes to the layout. For example, the Mosquito XEL was equipped with floats. The engines also varied. The XE version was equipped with a 64 horsepower model, while the XET version had a 90 horsepower model. The helicopter is 16.1 feet long with a 12 gallon fuel reserve. Unfortunately, Mosquito helicopters ceased operations in 2015. However, the project did not disappear. It ended up in the hands of the Composite FX team, which still offers assembly kits and finished helicopters. These two different versions are priced at $46,000 and $59,000 respectively. Next up is the Flying Banana, which is how the American Piaseki H-21 military transport helicopter was nicknamed for its unusual appearance. It was used not only in the USA, but also in other countries like Canada, Germany, France, and Sweden. The Bananas were in operation from 1953 to 1967, and 707 units were built. The helicopter also had a more respectable nickname, the Workhorse. Because it could carry 20 soldiers or 12 wounded people on a stretcher and two paramedics at speeds of up to 131 miles per hour. The designers placed large doors on both the right and left sides so that trained soldiers could leave the helicopter in about 20 seconds. Weapons included 762 or 12.7 mm machine guns and French models were equipped with 20mm guns. By the way, the helicopter holds an interesting record. The H-21C successfully accomplished the first non-stop transcontinental helicopter flight across the United States. It lasted 31 hours and 40 minutes and required refueling four times. In 2000, US engineers made some calculations and found that the Sikorsky CH-53E helicopters are used so intensely that they'll reach the end of their service life before 2025, when they are scheduled for replacement. That's why the CH-53K program was launched, to figure out how to extend the life of the helicopters. However, the result of the program was not an upgrade package for the old aircraft, but a design for a new helicopter. That's how the Sikorsky CH-53K King Stallion appeared. The first flight of the helicopter took place in 2015, and so far, 18 units have been built. Israel, Germany, and Japan have shown interest in the aircraft, and the specifications are as follows. The capacity is 55 people. Top speed is 214 miles per hour. The maximum range is 537 and a half miles. Maximum altitude is three miles and three engines with a combined output of 22 and a half thousand horsepower. The new vehicle has become more fuel efficient, easier to repair and more technologically advanced. Its production is planned to continue until the end of the 2020s. the core of the US Army attack helicopter fleet for decades. A model that saw action in Vietnam, Grenada, Panama, and the Gulf War. A helicopter built in over a thousand copies. 
All this is the legendary Bell AH-1F Cobra. The aircraft first took to the skies in 1965, but some units are still in service today. For example, on the screen is the USDA Forest Service version, designed to aid in fighting forest fires. Interestingly, the helicopter is not specifically engaged in extinguishing fires. Its task is to transmit data on the direction and strength of the flames, based on which larger equipment operates. The helicopters have special cameras with infrared sensors and monitoring systems, which allows them to work even in thick smoke. Real-time video from the cameras is transmitted at a distance of 30 miles miles, and accurate GPS coordinates are also provided. The vehicle's cruising speed is 172 miles per hour. The department bought a total of 25 helicopters from the Army, the last of which made its last flight on October 16, 2021, giving way to more modern solutions. The spectacular Hotelicopter Flying Hotel, introduced in 2009, completes our list. It is a five-star hotel with 18 luxurious rooms and all the usual amenities, capable of flying at 158.5 miles per hour. With a range of 805 miles, plans at the time of the announcement included both European travel and around-the-world trips. And as the basis, the engineers used the MI-12, the largest helicopter ever built. Surprised you haven't seen this miracle in the news? Sadly, or luckily, the hotelicopter was just an April Fool's prank. It was part of a viral marketing campaign by a hotel chain, and it worked out so well that it made it into various rankings. For example, the Times gave it a 10 out of 10 score and placed it in the top five of the best April Fool's pranks on the internet. Hey, stop being lazy, it's time to use that brain of yours. Welcome to Brain Time. Incredible facts from the past, the present, and even the future. The power of nature and wild animals. Amazing facts and unsolved mysteries. You'll find all this and much more here. Subscribe now, you won't regret it.